Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is July 6, 2017, and I have presented many times in the past about these dark, shadowy planet-like objects that appear on cameras and maybe even to the naked eye. And you will not be disappointed. Please hang out. I have more evidence that these are celestial bodies that are eclipsing our sun and the moon. And yes, there is a moon simulator just like there is a sun moon just like a sun simulator. So let's just dig right into this evidence. Are these spots on the camera? Well, let's just keep watching. Because if it was a spot on the lens of the camera, it would not move around. But I want you to watch something more powerful. This moon. And I'll prove to you that this is the moon. As it rises in the southwest sky in Germany, all the camera evidence I'm going to show you today are south and southwest over Europe, southwest at the same time. Behold, <laughs> this is going to blow you away. Now, watch this moon pass. This moon get eclipsed, the light of the moon being eclipsed. Let's just show, I just got to show you this. Watch what happens when the sun is being blocked from shining its light on the moon by a planetary object. Yes. So we got to turn on the moon simulator and get behind this thing and watch. A halo right here so now we've got the fake Sun we cannot see long characteristics of it and I'll probably want to bet this is not a full moon and you couldn't tell what was a moon or not because we've got chemtrails in front of it next the evidence keeps growing look at that are you seeing what I'm seeing, people? <laughs> is that the same shadow? Hmm. I think it is. Because look, it disappeared. Absolutely breathtaking. But wait, we didn't just catch that on one camera. <laughs> look at that. The shadows over the lake, okay? Whoa. Okay. Uh, anything that's absolutely perfectly round isn't pretty. Can't can't be freaking clouds. All right. Uh, first of all, let's look at the timestamp on this one. Let's go back because I've got I've got this object captured on multiple cameras at the same time. It's the same moon, right? The same day, Friday the seventh right this is at midnight I want you to catch this at the same time now here we have the same object this is at 2100 hours again in Germany facing the south okay look look sorry go a little faster forgive me goes south now let's watch the time lapse on this one at the same time as the moon, yeah, disappeared, gets behind this planetary object. Here it comes. You watch for the eclipse. Oh, shucks. What do we have here? We see what I've shown in my other videos, the beginning of a halo with, <laughs> it's not a sun dog. What do we, what do we call that, a moon dog? Okay, right. I'll give you an example of what that just what that was, but let's just keep watching the time lapse. Now we got chemtrails appearing in front of the sun. Here is our shadow. 
Let's watch it keep passing in front. Let me get to zoom this in because uh, when you click on it, oh, look at that. It's about to be eclipsed, just like it was in the other camera. And now they got chemtrails in front of it. Oh, but I've seen the best for last because just take a deep breath and keep watching. <laughs> you know, I really like to make videos and this just takes your breath away. So, <laughs> oh, look at that. A lunar halo. Wow. People, if you can't see that, tilt your monitor side. Let it reduce the brightness and you will see the outline of this dark halo <laughs> as it passes. I still save the best for last. So just keep watching. So, again, we have a moon dog. Yeah, I, I, I know what that is. And I'll get into that. Just just hang in there. Okay, let's let's just gotta click on this one. Again, we're we're on camera number three now, right? We see the moon halo with the chemtrail clouds masking the moon simulator. And now behold. I believe this would be actually Planet X. Again, just like we saw it at the 2100 hour mark on this camera let's click on that why do you see the star light through it remember it's projection because we have lens in front of it now let's zoom in on that one so you think that's still a spot on the lens appearing all the time on the same Four different cameras, in different cities around the world. It disappears. It's still going to hang out in the area, though. Watch this. Watch as the moon passes in front of this object. Here comes the moon. What? Are you kidding me? Remember I said there's a planet out there. They're hiding it with a lens array. Pulling them out of focus. And here is the early signs of a dark halo around the moon. How does that work? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't believe my eyes. There you go. Look at that, people. A lunar halo. Now, I'm going to give show my video again what's happening here as this planet pass in front of it look at do we see are do you see the lark the line of this halo right here Let me zoom that in again right here they starting to see the absence of light right here they're manipulating the light we have a Okay. And this is right. This is current image, right? This is 2 o'clock in the morning, right? Takes my breath away, people. Takes my breath away. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's see the demonstration of what I was talking about. Again, for those who missed it, about the fake sun or the sun simulator and the moon simulator. Why do they have moon simulators? Well, this object here is a representation of the sun. This dark circular object would be the celestial body eclipsing the sun. We would want people to freak out because we would have an eclipse. So we must continue to have some light. So let's put a fake light source in front of it, like a, like a flashlight. It could be mirrored from the actual sun. And then you're going to have the dark halos. And then we pause here that outside the edge, you're going to get the actual sunlight from behind the celestial body. Yeah, sorry I never talked about the moon simulator for the lack of evidence. But keep in mind, one thing I had in this 
description go back and watch this video dark sun halos are solar eclipses and lunar eclipses why else would they be chemtrailing the moon <laughs> for the same reason that you chemtrail this just go please go back and watch it for the lack of time on these videos <laughs> so let's review what i just showed you can you see the moon not a direct view can you but you certainly starting to see a dark halo okay well, this is solar system scope you can see i've got the crosshairs near europe over italy germany or the moon yes that's the moon we can see it this is the current position that we have on the time we could see that this celestial body is near the moon and pluto and sagittarius so and the sun had long set below mars just thought i'd show that as a point of reference So please copy, like, and share this video. The days are short. Just have a look at that lunar halo. Because it would probably have been a new moon if it because if we get a solar eclipse from our not from our Earth, but from another body, that would be a new moon. And it's probably not a new moon. So here we have a solar halo. Lunar eclipse from another planet, not our Earth. And let's just look at the uh, night sky progression here. Here it is at 2200 hours over Lake Steinberg, clear skies. All day long, uh, we get, I believe, Planet X because the speed of this system coming in. But watch how they start spraying the skies at night to cover this up. And again, and now we've got the halo right where Planet X just was. I'll have a follow up on this because usually when I got videos this compelling, look at those chemtrails. Why would you chemtrail the moon? Because you can't see the details because it is eclipsed. You wouldn't be able to take a picture or see its craters during an eclipse. But it's being absolutely 100% blocked by another planet. Absolutely stunning. I am so blown away by this. Look how dark this moon is. I'm going to show this again. <laughs> Let's show this. What are you going to call this mirror? Just a moon dog? Really? Ice crystals, right? Really? Ice crystals. Moon dog. <laughs> oh. And then the skies get dark. And then, <laughs> yeah. You could thank the lens array for this crazy system. Well, please copy, like, and share this video.